So how does an old model, this is an old model, switch controller for a glow plug work? I'll show you. Mine failed, so I wanted to open it up. This was OEM, original from 1992. So, boy, I'm real proud of how well it lasted. And here's the circuit card. Here's what's inside. Essentially what you're having, there's the four pins. It's, a, it's an easy way to think of it is that it's just a complicated switch. It just has a multiple inputs and things that have to happen and glow plug lights come on and go off and temperature sensing and all that happens through the logic of the board. Of course, the way they make these boards is you just do what's called like a logic flow and um, truth tables. And you just um, kind of say what condition this is, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. That's digital world, right? Zero and ones. And you just make a table of that and then you realize it in, in a circuitry. Uh, simple way to say it. So anyway, but here's the switch. The whole idea was that it's a switch. It's connecting these two uh, posts, right? The positive to what, uh, your glow plugs. And in here, you'll see this is the housing that held the, uh, the magnet. Essentially, this is a, a ferrous you know, electromagnet. You have a coil of wire, which uh, creates a field. And then there's a post, a metal post that would move. And there's a spring. This little post, when you pull on it, I can feel it. It's making the contact. So there's the relays buried in here, just the two contact pads with spring, and then this post. So as the logic happened, the electrical circuit would energize. It would throw this little rod, you see here's the rod, the rod would just move a little bit and make contact. And again, real proud of how long that lasted. Holy cow, with, you know, look at all the components, you know. Any of those fail and the circuit fails. And it finally did intermittent. Of course, they always go intermittent. Oh, that makes his life so hard, but it helps your cars keep running. <laughs> so, it's a blessing in disguise. Thank you.